All right. What is going on, kitties? Boys and girls, gentlemen, children of all ages. You know who it is. Raw after party time. We had a raw today. Obviously, we had some things go down with Ric Flair. We'll get into uh, here in just a few as I try to pop out the chat so I can, I can actually see what you guys are chatting. As well as, don't forget, Discord is alive and well. Let me get this over to here. There we go. Um, again, I'll put the Discord in the chat for you guys. If you guys are interested in coming in, um, for those of you on PC, uh, you guys know what to do. On the left, there's the voice channels. Please go into the waiting room. If you are on Android, and I believe iPhone as well, um, you can. There's three little bars at the top left of your screen. Uh, if you click on one of those three little bars, or if you click on those three little bars, um, you should be able to see what rooms are available. Go into the waiting room. I will bring you in one at a time. Uh, what's going on, Jose, dude? As we get into this. Now, if you guys watched the Raw stream. Um, oh, and he just left. What's going, what's going on, Ray? Uh, I was going to bring Anthony in. He was going to explain to me what was going on. Nothing much, Jose. We're just going to go through some raw stuff. Uh, but I was going to bring Anthony in here, and Anthony has done Dipset on us. Um, I don't know if he had to go or whatnot, but Anthony, if you're still there, um, you know, come on over. And uh, we can I, – I'd still love to talk to you. Uh, with what's going on, I'm I'm very interested in your thoughts. Um, you were fine, Anthony. Let me just type this in. Put this in there for him. Uh, we hadn't started yet, so I think he's a little confused. We'll get into the update on Flair now, and everybody's gone. Uh, did I like Raw tonight? Raw was very, very, very good. For the first few minutes. <laughs> and then Raw took this super, super weird turn. And I don't know where Raw turned tonight. Um, and like I said, yeah, go into the waiting room if you guys are waiting. But Raw started out extraordinarily strong tonight. Right? We had really good storyline progression. We had a lot of things going on. Uh, well, we'll get into Rick. No, no moments of silence. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to hear anything while you're in the waiting room. You can watch the stream, but, um, I would tell you, turn it down. Um, I don't know how to get you guys audio while you're in the waiting room. It's something I'm still working on. Uh, but let's bring in Scotty while we're waiting. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Let's go into general. Bring in Scott while we're waiting. What's good, Scott? Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, I'm hanging in there. I'm I'm waiting for my friend Anthony. Okay. Um, he he was telling me that TNA is a threat to the WWE. Is what? Yeah, he was telling me TNA is a threat to the WWE. What's going on, Bill? Um, the ending tonight's Raw was awesome. Um, it was like we had a good sandwich tonight for Raw. Um, it was like, it was like that sandwich. Do you guys remember the, uh, the chicken sandwich from KFC? Do you guys all remember those? It had a, ch the, there was no bun. It had a chick, it had a piece of chicken and then another piece of chicken. And then in the middle you had, I don't even know what was in the middle. And then it was just, you had like the chicken for the bun and then everything else in the middle. And it was the best like sandwich you ever did eat. And and then just in the middle was just cheese. There was nothing there. It consisted of nothing. Literally, honestly, consisted of nothing. That's what I thought of tonight's raw. That's honestly. Is Dolph Ziggler making that chicken sandwich? Well, no, Dolph Ziggler's on SmackDown. <laughs> so, um, Dolph Ziggler's on SmackDown. <laughs> but uh, um, nothing much. But what do you got, real quick? Because I'm going to bring Anthony here in in a minute. I just confused as to why 
some of the booking made no sense, but it wasn't bad. You know, it was a, the beginning a made sense. Show. The end made sense. Like I said, it was like a sandwich. All right. Well, the best go home show we've seen in quite a long time. Except, well, you know, the, yeah. Um, tell you what, man, I'm going to put you back. Uh, I don't know if you want to sit back in the waiting room or what you want to do. I got, I'm, I am so curious on Anthony's. Um, I mean, I'm really, honestly, I'm super curious on what he has to say. I am. I'm I think really, it's a troll, but. I would, uh, I don't know, man, but uh, I'm going to put you back down to the waiting room. I'll bring you back up here shortly. Um, go okay. ahead. Feel free to chat away as we bring Anthony in. What is going on, Anthony? Hey, what's up? What's hey, going on? I, I'm super interested. You, you got to tell me. You're telling me TNA is a threat to the WWE. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Explain. Okay. Oh. What happened? Right, I Anthony, can... I lost you. I don't know if you clicked back on the waiting room or what you did, but you, you went. You said it is, and then you went You went back into the waiting room. So I don't can, know what happened. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't uh, – I agree with you when you say that it's not, but you have to agree that it is because if it wasn't, then WWE would not be speaking to their people. You got to think about it like this. WWE went and got – Okay, so I'm going to ask you a TNA. question right now. Who is WWE speaking to? Well, WWE got Kurt Angle from TNA. No, 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 no. Kurt it Angle went from WWE. Kurt Angle went yeah, from, he went WWE, from WWE, WWE originally to, to TNA, TNA. But so did the Hardys and Sure. So did everybody else. So TNA but, pilfered off of WWE, not the other and way now around. Now WWE is doing the same thing. Now what? WWE is doing it back. Also, WWE is eating from all Japan, from New Japan. They're 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 talking with um. Uh, I'm not going to uh, disagree with you that the Japanese product is head and heels over better what WWE is doing. Yeah, but they're but even I'm, talking with Lucha Underground. Well, yeah, of course. Well, Lucha Underground, we don't know the fate of Lucha at the current time. We don't know what's going on. There's been no filming for season four, as of as of as of we know right now. There's no there's yeah, been no that's filming. That's true. That's true, but. They have already said that WWE is in talks with uh, Johnny Mundo or John Morrison, as we know him in WWE. And that's They're they, they were in with, talks before he uh, went to Ray Mysterio. That that they were in talks with Ray, but then they cut those they cut those out. Ray wanted too much money. Same thing with Johnny. Then he wanted too much money, so they they let him walk. So what was the whole thing? If that's the case, what was the whole thing with? With them saying that Mundo didn't come back because of Batista being in WWE at the time. Batista's not in WWE, and he's not coming no, back. No, no, no. Not now. I'm saying at that time. Because that's when they first started talking to uh, John Morrison about coming back was after Batista came back. And wasn't John, John Morrison, Morrison was beefing with Batista because of... Correct me uh, if I'm wrong, and let, remind me in the chat because you guys know I have shit memory. Um, what were wasn't Mundo and Batista in the WWE at the same time? Yeah, they were. Okay, and and that's when Molina started cheating on Mundo with Batista, and that's been proven. Yeah, sure. I mean, and we then, know that. Well, that's, and, that's and that's the reason why John Morrison didn't come back. He even said that in the shoot interview. Okay, he said they brought back Batista, and that's why he did uh, turned down their offer. That's why he turned down Vince McMahon's offer. I, I'm talking about this time around. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this time. He said that's why he turned down the offer was because Batista was in. Because you got to remember, Batista was just uh, back in WWE a few years ago. Sure. And but that's what when they were talking to. That's when they were talking to John Morrison, and they're still talking to John Morrison now, even after he turned down their offer. Just like they're talking right now with Ethan Carter, they're saying that he. He uh he's a bigger star now, so they want him to come back. So if TNA is not a threat at all, then why is it that number one? Well, let me ask you this: is, Ring, is if Carter, I go by your logic, if I go by your logic, is Ring of Honor a threat? Ring of Honor is always a threat. You think Ring of Honor is a threat? Hell yeah. Do you think? Do you think all Japan is a threat? Cause I'll get most I'll, definitely. I will give you and think tell you that New Japan is a threat. Oh, they um, definitely are. TNA, global force, global farce wrestling is not a threat, dude. 
How many viewers does I'm TN, telling how you, many, bro? How I'm many telling viewers? You, bro. How many viewers does Global Force Wrestling pull in a week? Think about it. Why is why is Vince McMahon trying so hard to shut up Alberto Del Rio from talking trash? How is he trying to shut up Alberto Del Rio? They've said nothing on the thing. They let Alberto Del Rio run his drunken mouth. No. They've... No, bro. No. Okay, then explain to me. How is Vince trying to shut him up? Vince McMahon is, is right now, well, supposedly, I'm not going to say I know 100%, but supposedly Vince McMahon is right now trying to sue uh, uh, Alberto Del Rio or Alberto El Patron or whatever he wants to go by for defamation of character and slander. Do you have a link to this? Talking. Do you have a link to this? They were talking about it on um, uh, what's that channel? And that's why I say I don't know 100. percent I'm going off what I hear. What, um, what, what's 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 that channel? On, um... oh, shit. For some reason, I want to say it was Sean's view. Oh fuck that! Sure. I don't take any I'm shit from Sean's sure. view. Sean's <laughs> yeah, view why, for the yeah, past year, Sean's view has told me CM Punk <laughs> is coming back to the WWE. That guy talks with the same place that he takes a crap with. I'm sorry. Hey, to be honest, man, I, I I agree with you, and 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 I will say that that's why I, I put it. I said the disclaimer at first, and was like, hey, it's, it's not 100, percent but this is what I'm hearing. No, but I, if it honestly, came from Sean's view. I would love to see CM Punk come back. I, I hope. I would love back. to see CM Punk come back too. The problem is, it's not going to happen. Okay, and, yeah. and here's why I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to give you my side of the argument as to why Global Force is not a threat. Global Force just did a huge, or what was supposed to be a huge event up in New York. They drew less than 200 people. 200 people. Global Force drew. Really? Yes. There are pictures of a empty gymnasium. They could not fill a high school gymnasium. While other places like Progress are having the fire marshal called on them because they have 1,500 people in an event that's only supposed to hold 700. <coughs> that's crazy. Because I, I mean, I, I'm sorry, so Global that Force. I'm hearing, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm thinking it because everything I'm hearing and reading, and I'm like, okay, well. Global yeah, Force not, is not like, a threat. I'm like, damn. On I'm a, like, damn, Vince went and got the Hardy Boys back from TNA. Of course. Kurt back from TNA. Like, they're supposedly talking with Bobby Lashley, Ethan Carter. They they, they had... Um, they're not they talking... Had, I can almost guarantee Storm. you they're not talking to Bobby Lashley. They have no interest in him. Like, they had James Storm. James Storm left and went back to Global Force. And then they got Bobby Roode. And then AJ. But I give you that. AJ was in... AJ made his name in Ring of Honor and New Japan. Yeah, but he blew up in TNA. No, he you blew it, he blew up. AJ blew up in New Japan when he joined Bullet Club and started having barn burners with Nakamura. I don't That's know. That's when that, AJ bro. I was blew a fan. Up. I was a fan of AJ back in TNA when he was beefing with uh uh Christopher Daniels and uh Kazarian. I was a fan whole, of AJ way thing. back in the day too. However, I can I can pinpoint the time where AJ blew up, and that was almost directly after Wrestle Kingdom ten. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going to deny that definitely elevated him. Definitely elevated him. But I have to say that he he got his blow up point in TNA, bro. Uh, okay, so so pinpoint where really he blew up. Him. So if if he think blew up it, and he was a the crowd, think about how he captivated the crowd. In TNA, and, and when they had the whole scandal thing, and AJ was crying in the ring, and then they panned to the crowd, it was people in the crowd crying. There was people getting excited, people getting angry over AJ. You know what I mean? And AJ, and I hate to say it, but AJ, in my opinion, also played a role in Austin Aries blowing up. I hate to say it because I'm an Austin Aries fan, but AJ helped elevate Austin Aries as well. Sure, absolutely. You know what I mean? And but that, I'm going to tell you the only two I will give to you because you're like, oh, they took Kurt Angle, they took the Hardys. Well, the Hardys and Kurt Angle wouldn't have been in TNA if it wasn't for WWE. So I have a hard time giving you those, <laughs> even the well, Dudleys, because the Dudleys true, got their but... big break in ECW, which then Pauly, well, Pauly reluctantly, then they went to WWE, but then Bully Ray and Bubba, or Bully Ray and uh, <laughs> Devon, really, you know, they went back and then they, they went to TNA. Yeah. I mean, but, I, and then they came back. Well, I agree with you that, that, that the Hardys wouldn't be anything without WWE. But in the same sense, 
that's because Vince McMahon hired a, a 17 year old or a 16 year old child to wrestle for WWE or WWF at the time. Yeah, you got to You got to admit that. I mean, it's like, it, yeah, sure, but so I mean, like he worked hard. He he lied, true, but he worked hard to 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 make his name and make their name, the Hardys in general, made their name in WWE or WWF at the time. They made their name in WWF, but then they, well, I can't say Jeff left. Jeff got fired and Matt left. I gotta say Jeff and got then Jeff to got TNA. terminated and TNA took yeah. the rest. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff decided Jeff, that the Jeff pills were just decided, too much. Yep, I was just about to say that he definitely decided to choose his high over his wealth, which was sad. But yeah, um, but then when he went to to, if it wasn't for the broken Hardy's gimmick, which was made in TNA, WWE would not have wanted them back. Sure, guaranteed, hands down. Sure, that's why I say that's why I say WWE had to go take them from TNA because. Matt had total control over the Hardys, uh, uh, everything, over their whole gimmick, everything. Matt Hardy had total 100% control over everything that had to do with the Hardys in TNA, with the broken Hardys gimmick, all that shit. And now they're back in WWE because Vince wants the broken Hardys gimmick. Because no, think about it. That's where you're it. wrong. Fans, that's where you're 100% no way. wrong. Yeah. The fans, even, the fans even fell off with the Hardys before they left WWE. The fans were falling off. Let me, how long have you been watching wrestling? I've been watching wrestling 33 years. 33 oh, years. Right. How many gimmicks has Vince used from another company? <laughs> um, In 33 years, how many gimmicks has he literally lifted from one company and put onto his? Well, there's quite a few. Okay, well, start naming them. Goldberg, Hollywood Hogan. Uh, um, not WCW. No, you you can't say not. The, the I can't say not WCW because he bought the whole fucking company. Yeah, he bought the whole company. But okay, what was War? We'll what was WCW. Warrior's name before he came okay, into we WWE? Take... What? Which one? Dingo Warrior. Dingo Warrior. But he changed it yes. to Warrior. Yeah, that's because of all the other Warriors they had. Sure. No, it was because he wants to own. It. Vince wants to own it. If Vince can't own it. He won't use it. Why not? Why did we go back to Drew <coughs> McIntyre? Why didn't we keep Drew what he was in TNA? Why did he go back to Drew McIntyre? Because Vince couldn't use that name. Vince can use the name. It's How? Dr- it's, it's not Drew's- his real name. It is his real name. Then why couldn't he use it in TNA? Because he doesn't want, because Vince wants to, he did use it in TNA. Drew I Galloway? What about Drew, Drew Galloway? Yes. Yeah, not McIntyre. Drew Malloway and Drew Galloway are the same. Drew Galloway and Drew McIntyre are the same person. I know they're the same person. I'm saying they're two different names. Right. For two different companies is what I'm saying to you. So Drew Galloway is his name. The reason Vince changed it from Drew Galloway to Drew McIntyre is because Vince can own that name. He can No, I know. Yeah, yeah. Name. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. That's okay. the reason why. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's why Drew McIntyre couldn't use the name Drew McIntyre in TNA. So I mean, if, if you're if we're gonna go off of the Hardys and people are drooling for this gimmick, which they are, I'm not gonna disagree with you. People want the broken gimmick, but people also want the club. Why isn't the club formed yet? That is a damn good question. Because Vince can't own it. It was brought. It was somewhere else. Vince does not <laughs> like to give. Any sort of but if that's credence the case, to any other sued? company? Why is who getting sued? No, I said why aren't they getting sued? Why aren't the other companies getting sued that have Bullet Club members in there using the name Bullet Club and throwing up the the uh, the NWO for lifetime? The two sweet the Bullet Club use. Yeah, the two too sweet. sweet. You can't you can't Vince trademark that. You can't tra- No, Vince does not. Oh, you can't trademark a hand gesture. Yeah, true. You can't own it. Uh, so he can't. Play. He can't own the two suite. I can but do two suite anyway. But if he owns NWO, he has to own all of their likenesses and and all of the all of the. Sure, he owns Hollywood Hulk Hogan. He owns Hulk Hogan. He owns Scott Hall. He owns uh, Kevin Nash, which is what it is. 
I, I he doesn't own you can't own the two suite. He could bring the club together. You have Balor, you have AJ, and you have uh Gallows and Anderson. Why hasn't that happened? It's for one reason. Vince McmcMahon does not use what he cannot own. What he well, cannot trademark, happen, nor it's does he give real soon. nor does he give credence to any other company. I guarantee Ever. you the Bullet Club's going to be back together real soon. Mm, I I doubt it. I I'm think not gonna, about it. They're going to give you little second. shades of it. They're going to let. No, they're think about it for a second. It. Think about it for a second. I'm thinking backstage. Luke Gallows, uh, uh, AJ Styles, and and Carl Anderson would when they were talking about being the the greatest faction or the greatest club or whatever. And then the New Day came in, and then they were discussing about who was better or whatever. And then the Shield came in, and the Shield laughed. And now they're bringing back the shield. They've got to bring back the Bullet Club. It's it's only evident. It's it, it's only a matter of time when it's going to happen. You have people to. on two different rosters, sir. What? You okay? Well, yeah. No, 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 no. Only yes. AJ. Yeah, only, only AJ. AJ. Only the most important part. AJ. Well, that's arguable. Like some people would argue that Finn Balor is the is the the, the leader of the Bullet Club. Finn Balor is the original leader of the Bullet Club. Sure. Yeah, and that's why people would argue that he's the most important part of the Bullet Club. I will tell you, AJ is the most important part of the Bullet Club. A lot of people forget that Finn Balor, Fergal Devitt, Prince Devitt, in New Japan was ever a part of the Bullet Club. That a lot of people forget that, and a lot of people don't that. know that. But everyone remembers AJ. Yeah, everyone but everyone also remembers AJ. remembers when AJ joined the faction in TNA with Hogan and, and Flair. Like, you just remember things like that. It's it's a given. Right. I, I, I'm telling you this. AJ is more over than Balor. That's why you Hell love Balor. no. Hell no. Hell no. I agree that, that that and don't get me wrong, I'm an AJ fan through and through. I believe AJ is definitely over. But in my opinion, I think Balor is getting louder pops than AJ. Dude, we've been to three cities now where it has been silent when Balor comes out. Si- you could hear a flea fart. Everybody it, loves man. it when AJ comes out. I have not seen it. Think about okay, okay. Think about it like this. Think about it like this. Okay, th- think about the think about the pop that AJ got when he debuted. Yes. Mm-hmm. Think about the pop. Now think about the pop that Finn Balor got when he debuted on the on the main roster, or you can even think about the pop that Finn Balor got when he debuted in NXT, and it's still well. Okay, up there I'm not going to give you NXT because the people in NXT are seals. Okay, they pop for everything. Oh, Cassius yeah, Ono! <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> well, is, that, that is true. I'll give you that. Cassius, a lot of the guys that they bring in there <coughs> are straight trash. I mean, we need that to face it. That is definitely true. Balor is not as over as AJ is right now. AJ's way more over. Way I don't know, bro. Over. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I mean, I, I, I can't give to you that TNA is a threat because um, all I got to do is put numbers in front of you. TNA pulls in uh, roughly on a good week. 330,000 views. Well, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not talking about numbers. I mean, shit. I'd then what are they threatening? I'd, I'd be a fucking idiot to believe they're a threat as far as numbers go. What are they threatening I'm talking then? Talent-wise. Talent-wise? Talent, talent, wise. talent, talent yeah, don't like mean shit if nobody's want. looking at your talent. That's like <laughs> me having the biggest dick in the world and nobody ever sees it. Yes what and go- no. What good is it? Yes and no. Yes and no how. No, no, no. Because for the simple fact of the talent that WWE wants back on their roster or on their roster in general. That's why they signed Austin Aries. But then they fucked up somehow and Austin Aries left or got fired or whatever the case may be. And no, there's there's no way. I want him back. But TNA, if TNA had the talent, if TNA was as good as you say it is, Talent wise, because let's face it, they maybe have a handful of guys that are good talent. Mundo has really gone gone no, good. No, I he's definitely one hundred percent agree with you there. Um, but but and, when it comes I'm, down I'm not, to talent, and, 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 you're going to tell me people like DJP are better than what you got in the cruiserweights right now? 
No, hell no. Or DJ Z. I'm sorry. My bad. No, DJ hell Z. no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. I'm talking about like the, the, the main stars and the stars that are. Who are their main star? Alberto. Is Alberto El Patron better than Brock Lesnar? Uh, oh, don't. Nope. Don't. Nope. Stop. You cannot that can argue that. Is Alberto El Patron better than Samoa Joe? Bro. Alberto El Patron. Okay, let's look. Let's look at it like this. Let's 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 hang on with 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 Samoa Joe. Let's let's take because that's a great comparison. I'm glad you said that. That's an awesome comparison. Why? Because now Alberto you're gonna try to El tell me Patron. Joe made his name in TNA, which he didn't. He made his name in Ring no, of Honor. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He definitely didn't. I agree with you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying let's hold on on Joe for a second. Let's let's compare Brock Lesnar and Alberto Del Rio because that's a great comparison. Let's compare those two. Okay. Alberto Del Rio, Brock Lesnar, both MMA, both wrestlers. Now, in MMA, now granted, Brock Lesnar was on UFC. Uh, 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 Alberto Del Rio didn't reach that level, but Alberto Del Rio has a better and longer record in MMA than Brock Lesnar. But if you don't reach the pinnacle, what does it matter? He could have, though. I honestly believe he could have. You know what? I'm I'm the best at my job. But if I have a company that's bigger than me and I never go there, what does it matter? Alberto Damn. El Patron is not as good. I'll I'll even give you this. Yeah, Alberto but, El Patron but, is Alberto El Patron as good as AJ Styles. Look, check this out though. Hang on, hang on. Let's as good as Kevin Brock. as good let's as Kevin Owens. Brock. Let's get back to Brock and Del Rio. Okay. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers in WWE. We're not even going to look at the, the, the MMA shit now because you shut me up on that, so I will agree with you there. Let's look at the, the, the big company, WWE. Let's look at the juggernaut. Look at the numbers of sales, merchandise sales. Since you want to talk about numbers, let's sure. talk about sales. Alberto Del Rio sold way more than Brock Lesnar in merchandise. No, he didn't. Way more. Yes, no, he didn't. and it, it fucking hurts me to say it, it because it, I love Brock. Because it never happened. Brock Lesnar is number three in merchandise sales. He's been number three in merchandise sales behind Roman Reigns no, and uh, John Cena when, for the past when, three look years. At, look at the time. Look at the time. Well, yeah, recently. Look at the time when when um, it was the feud between Punk, Cena, and Del Rio. And CM Punk threw his shirt in the crowd. They kept it. Cena threw his shirt in the crowd. They threw it back in. Now, if you remember that feud, look at the numbers for the sales. So you're picking one feud. Punk. You're picking one Punk. feud to tell CM me. CM Punk was number one for sales. Sure. John Cena was number two. Sure. Del Rio was number three. Was Brock Lesnar even in the company at that time? Yeah. Mm, I don't know about Brock that. Brock Lesnar was feuding with Seth Rollins. So, Wait, uh, I might be wrong about that. I Shit, think you're wrong on. on that. <laughs> I just had to think about that. Yeah. I might be wrong about that. He wasn't in the company. <laughs> yeah. So basically you're yeah, pulling. Okay. Well, back when Brock wasn't in the company, <laughs> Brock Lesnar, uh, <laughs> Alberto El Patron outsold him. You got me there. That, that Shit, I fucked that up. Alberto El Patron <laughs> is not as big. If I go one for one with Global <laughs> Force Wrestling, okay, if I go one for one, WWE talent it is head over heels better than Global Force. I don't know. How how can you not Andrew Everett? Chuck compare, Taylor. Compare, compare to people that are compare to the the, the 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 main people that are on Global Force and compare the main people that are in WWE. They're on par. I'm not saying TNA. No. I'm not saying they're, they're bigger in numbers or none of that. Okay. You're, are you trying to tell me Bobby Lashley is bigger than AJ Styles? Is bigger than even Sam? I will give you the shittiest fucking person. Do you think Bobby Lashley is bigger than Brazongo? Yes, he's way more over. Oh, than my fucking God. Come Whatever on you're now. smoking, I need some. Come on! I need now. some. Where? Who's your guy? I need to know. Brizongo is not over. Brizongo is so fucking over. over. They are over. They're not as over as fucking Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley like is that, not over. That's like saying that fucking Ascension 
is more over than Lashley. Come I on, think bro. the Ascension actually might be more over than Bobby Lashley. Hell no. Because every time the Ascension's on my screen, I at least get a chuckle. Every time Bobby Lashley is on my screen, I cuddle up with my Snuggie. Hell no. You know damn well you're lying. No, you know I'm not. Every time you see Bobby Lashley with that dumbass headband around his head. No, I'm not. I cuddle. You know what, Bobby Lashley? You know who Bobby I'll Lashley might be more over than? Baron Corbin. He might be more over than Baron Corbin. Yeah, he's he irritates me. I don't I don't like him. Baron Corbin. That's about it. I don't like Baron Corbin. I mean, Corbin, I, I, I would rather see gold dust in the ring than watch a Bobby Lashley match. Then Lashley, really? Yes, I do not like Lashley bored me when he was in ECW and WWE. Well, no, no, no. I give you that. Lashley was boring as fuck in WWE. I'm saying he's in, still in boring. TNA, he didn't change. In TNA, he has definitely changed more, bro. Mm. Just like that's like saying that's like saying that uh, EC3 um, didn't change from from WWE to. Uh, oh, he definitely changed. He cut his hair and did steroids. Like that's like saying that. Uh, well, no, never mind. I can't say that. That would be a dumbass person. I was about to say. I just I think I, I, I can't I, I can't agree with you. I think at you would have found me and smacked me if I would have said the name that I was getting ready. For. I I just I'm sorry I can't agree with you at all. How DNA can you not? is not a threat because because WWE draws thousands of people. <laughs> TNA can't even draw two hundred. Think about it though. How can TNA not be a threat? But Ring of Honor and New Japan are threats because Ring of Honor and New Japan sell out arenas. They do. Ring of Honor was just uh, just in my town not too long ago. And you want to know what? They sold it out, dude. Although, it, uh, granted, it was a smaller arena. It was the Eagles Ballroom, not the, uh, not the Bradley Center. But they still sold every single ticket at face value. Like, no, even, even FCW was a threat before WWE purchased them. Uh, That's FC- why they purchased them. F- FCW is made by WWE. No. Yes, FCW is made by WWE. To no, Florida uh, Championship Wrestling was only Florida Championship Wrestling. No. FCW yeah, they were partnered was NXT- with Maryland Championship Wrestling before NXT. F- FCW existed. Now, when they lost their ties. With uh, the the good brother Jim Cornette up there at OVW, they created FCW as their training ground and their partner. No, I remember I remember FCW being being uh, partnered up with MCW, which is Maryland Championship Wrestling. Maybe and maybe when it was owned by Dusty Rhodes, I don't know. And and even with Maryland Championship Wrestling, WWE even got people from there. I'm I'm sorry. We're gonna have to agree to agree to disagree. I got patrons in the waiting room, man. Um, we we'll have to do this talk again some other time. I'm just looking at the waiting room. I got Scotty in there. I know Teddy wants to get in there. Um, so we'll we'll have to uh, we'll have to figure out a time uh, and, and do a do a full a full debate on this. Oh got, yeah, most I, definitely. I, I got Anytime, guys that, that want to get in here. So I'm gonna put you back in the waiting room. You can disconnect from there. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I know. Um, but, uh, I'm bringing back in Scott. What's going on, Scotty? I just, I can't with that guy. I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I just listened to the whole thing. The only legit threat to me is New Japan. Or I think New Japan is a huge threat to WWE. And that's why WWE is honestly... And, Teddy, if you want to get back in the waiting room, now's your time, homie. Um, because I'm going to... Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to cut this stuff off real quick um, as we go go into this. One real quick bit of news uh, for those of you who do not know. Yes, Ric Flair has been put into a medically induced coma. Right now, um, something with his heart. It's, it's not his heart. It's not his heart. I've been reading reports all over saying his heart. So um, maybe it I'm wrong. was it was from that lady. I guess his like publicist worker, whoever it was, said it wasn't his heart. So hmm. it was on Twitter. She tweeted it out. I don't know her name though. Did if that you, just did that just recently come out? 
Yeah, it just okay, recently that's did. why because I haven't obviously while I'm doing the show is I'm not I'm not paying attention to the dirt sheets. Um, I was just looking at what I heard, what I was looking at, and what I read this morning was uh, Ric Flair hospitalized, um, and it had it had something to do with his heart, and then they put him in a coma. So, uh, Melinda Morris Zanan- Zanani. Uh, yes, Ric Flair is in hospital for routine monitoring. No reason to panic. Yes, maybe. Okay, I can't read her gibberish. Um, but uh, you said, what was it now? It was something with what? Scott? I didn't say anything. I didn't oh. say anything. Yeah, I so was just... Just, they just said not the heart. Yeah, hold on. I can find it. Yeah, I'm, lo- I'm looking at this now, but this was from earlier in the day, so it's still saying heart. Um. So that was from earlier in the day. So if something has come out since then, but uh, getting into it, uh, and I agree with Luke. Um, well, except for progress, I wouldn't give progress the number four slot. Um, I would probably that's where I put TNA, WWE, New Japan, Ring of Honor, TNA. That's that's where I put them. Um, but that, I mean, that's my view on the whole thing. I mean. People are allowed to have their views, but you better come at me with some arguments if you're going to tell me otherwise. Uh, because on more than one occasion, it's like, okay, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you. Well, I, I am disagreeing with you. But I'm not going to tell you that, you know. I mean, if, if you're wrong, come with the right arguments. Liver. Oh, never mind. Luke said it was liver. And uh, great suck. Looking forward to the next one. Yeah, come at me with some – like, I don't know if you need to write it down, man. Come at me with some arguments because uh, I unfortunately I, – I, I do have a little bit of knowledge in the back of my brain. It don't come to me with no Sean's view shit. I, I mean, that yeah, guy has basically I, made a joke of himself on YouTube. Um, he I used- got the tweet. I got the tweet from earlier. From Melinda Morrisonani. Yeah, Rick and has, I can't read it because it's gibberish. Rick had surgery today, not heart related. I'm happy to report it was a success. Still a long load ahead, so please keep prayers for Charlotte, for Rick, Charlotte, Megan, David, and Wendy. So, yeah. So, um, what do you got for us today, Scott? I mean, like I, just, I said, I, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the ends of I enjoyed the bookends of Raw. I enjoyed the beginning, probably about the first hour and a half, and I enjoyed probably about the last half hour. I thought it was decent. Like I told you earlier, it was the best go home show we've seen in quite a while. Not saying much because most of them are pretty bad, but I enjoyed it. I I didn't have a problem with anything except for I feel bad for Neville. I mean. I that don't sucks. feel bad for Neville. I do because you, you, he had the title since what January, and mm-hmm. he doesn't even get to defend it on the on the show. I also feel bad for Austin Aries. No, aren't they um, doing? Isn't oh, let me look at the card because I could have sworn off. they were doing. Oh, was it taken off? It Did, had to have. It was on, and now they did the SummerSlam come early. There was nothing mentioned. Let's, they'll mention it on Two Hundred Five Live, the show that nobody watches. Uh, hey, I watch 205 Live. It gets better ratings than Global Force Wrestling. It... <laughs> I want to say it again. Me too. You guys are like a modern Romeo and Juliet. Get Jesus. out of here, Best Buy. <laughs> Nobody likes you. I hate Best Buy. Uh, Hardy, well, they still got Hardys and Revivals. Revival on here. I don't think that's happening. Just saying. No. I don't think that that's going to happen. Just, I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, okay, so we got Sheamus and Cesaro. Ralph. Ra- <laughs> going up against, I'm just going to call him what it is. It's the Shield. <coughs> Big Show and Cass with Enzo in a shark cage. Yeah, they still got it. Cruiserweight on here. Akira Tozawa versus Neville. The Demon Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Cena versus Corbin. New Day versus Usos. AJ versus Kevin. Uh, Randy versus Rusev. Naomi versus Natalia. Alexa. Yeah, it's still on here as a match. So. I don't mind 205 Live. I mean, it's not like I'm intently watching 205 Live every week. Like, it's like life or death. Like, if it's like, oh, there's a match on, I'm going to go pee. Like, I don't, like, hold my urine because 205 Live's on. That's for fucking sure. I ain't doing that. But, um, yeah, we got two matches tonight that we're seeing next week, except we're getting, or we're seeing on Sunday, except we're getting Demon Balor. 
because of because he poured blood on him. Oh no, the blood! It enrages me so. I must turn into the demon. Ah! Like that's literally that, what I heard throughout. That. Raw, should, Raw should be sponsored by Heinz ketchup because that's probably what that was. No, that was blood of some sort. Okay, that was blood of some Jojo's- sort. Jojo's period blood? I mean, maybe they just put a bu- they just attached some stuff to her legs and put a bucket underneath her. No, they they got a guy that does all that shit. The same guy that does um uh what am I thinking of? Um he does like all their props. You know, he he's the prop guy. He does their blood for them and he does this and he does that. You know. You, well, you know. <laughs> so, I thought he was a member I thought he became a member of the brood. Well, I'm, I'm like, why blood? Like, this is wh- <laughs> people wanted blood. People wanted blood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just like, why blood? When's the last time Bray ever was like, I'm gonna pour blood on you? Like, if it were worms or something, I could have been like, okay, that makes sense. But blood? When has Bray Wyatt ever used blood in his like five years in this company? Has that ever happened? I'm trying to think back, and I'm like, I can't remember a single time Bray was like, check out my bucket of blood. Look at it. It's so awesome. Uh, Do do you remember any of this? I I, I don't know. I I agree with Rich. It's corn syrup and dye. I I could totally see it being corn syrup and dye. Blood, because... Yeah, but okay, so Jose, okay... But he's never used blood before. Like, there's no blood in his intro. There's no blood in his little cut phrases. There's no blood in anything. He's never poured blood on anybody. It's, like, not part of his gimmick. However, worms are. Like, if you would have dumped a bucket of mealworms on him, I would have been like, oh, okay. Um, That makes sense. Worms, you know, it's in his little, his little, you know, that... And then all of a sudden, like, he's in the ring. He's like, look at me. And uh, worms, mealworms, worms, I can get behind that. The blood, I'm just like, why blood? Out of all the things, why blood? Because people want because people wanted blood on them. We want the blood. As, we wanted as Finn blood, Balor's we want licking it, licking it on the it way was, back. Mm, sugar. You, 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 want, you wanted to know why Randy Orton can't wrestle very well. Maybe that's his head blood from last year's SummerSlam. I mean... It could have been all that blood. Guys, I'm going to put it back in here. Um, and, Teddy, you only got a little bit. I know you were sitting in the waiting room, and thank you for patiently waiting. But if you want to get in, like, now's your time. David, it, I could tell it wasn't paint, only due to the fact of it was too transparent. Runny. It was too transparent. You can make paint runny. That's not hard. Uh, but it was too <clears throat> transparent. It was too see-through, and it was too glisteny. Like, I've worked with a lot of paint. Um, that wasn't paint. That looked nothing like paint. That was, I think Rich hit it right on the head. I think it was corn syrup and a little bit of dye. I'll stick with ketchup. Ketchup. Bray pulls out a bottle of ketchup. Eat my wiener. Eat my wiener, he wanted, he, he wanted some burgers after the show. <laughs> Come over here, Finn. I need to dip my hot dog in you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, and it's inconsistent. I agree with brother. Uh, Bray's character is inconsistent. It just is what it is. He, so. He's losing Sunday anyway. He's... Um, I'm not going to give my predictions here. I told Kevin I would save my predictions for tomorrow night. So, um, and like I told you guys, tune in tomorrow night for my awesome prediction that I'm going to be making for you guys. I know a lot of people, I'm going to piss people off with this prediction. I really am, dude. I'm going to make, I am going to make people rage like they have never raged before guaranteed royal rumble 2015 rage dude i came up with this idea and i was angry afterward that's like and kevin kevin was like oh my fucking god you're right that's literally what he told me on the phone oh my fucking god you're right and he's like well i'll be back i'm gonna go slam my dick in a door like that's how bad (laughs) this idea was and it was. I can't wait to hear it. It was a horrible idea, but then like, cause me and Kevin are just spitballing, right? We're just spitballing back and forth how we think this is gonna go, and all of a sudden I'm like, "What if?" I'm like, "Here's what's gonna happen," and he's like, "Okay," and then all of a sudden he's like, 
oh shit. He goes, that's exactly what they're going to fucking do. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I was like, you were supposed to stop me 10 minutes ago. I was like, because, and then like the more we talked about it, we're like, fuck, that is exactly what they're going to do. This is bullshit. Like, we both walked away angry from the conversation. We're like, this is like it already happened. Like, we're like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah, just just wait till till, till tomorrow, you guys. Yeah, I, I see Luke saying, can't wait. And it's like, mm, you can, trust me. I I had smoke bellowing out of my asshole after this. So, uh, it looks like Teddy is not coming back into the chat. I don't know if he had uh, bedtime or whatever to go to. Uh, so, if you guys want to get in, last call for alcohol. I need to make a sound drop of that. Because we're going to go just a few more minutes here. Because Wookiee's got to pee. And Wookiee's now been going on live for almost four hours. So, just from, keep that in mind. Wookiee's been going for four hours now. La live for four hours. Um, but you got any uh, last minute statements that you uh, want to make there, Scotty? Um, I just hope SummerSlam and NXT are good. I it'll be a long, a long weekend. Lucky for Brooklyn or anyone that's going, I'm sure they're gonna have a blast all four days in the Barclays Center. That should be nice for them, dude. I, um, and I've told everybody my and I said this on the regular stream. My my dream, like on my bucket list, is to go to. I want to go to. I want to go to a Mania and a Rumble, right? Like those are definite bucket list items. SummerSlam would be right behind those. Like SummerSlam, it's the party of the summer. Nobody gives a fuck. It's not number two. Like they want to say, oh, it's, it goes WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble. No, it doesn't. It goes WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. And I would even say Royal Rumble might be a little interchangeable with WrestleMania sometimes, um, where I would put Rumble ahead of Mania. But I think the better thing, to, uh, the only thing I want to go to would be the Raw after Mania. For to see all the it, shit. To see all the, well, I want to be part of Beach Ball Mania because I want to. Beach I want to, Ball Mania. Yeah, I, that's on my bucket list to be a part of Beach Ball Mania. Balor, Punk, Aries, or Cody, who wins? I mean, it's it's such a relative term asking me like, if you put these guys in a match, who's gonna win? Well, it depends on the feud. It depends on what's going on, but. Guys, I've had a blast again. As always, I will see you tomorrow for some SmackDown. Don't forget the ropes will be following shortly thereafter, as long as Kevin doesn't go get a Sunday. Because you know he likes his Sundays and then makes us 45 minutes fucking late. But I will talk to all you guys tomorrow for some SmackDown ropes afterward. I got something coming up for you guys on Wednesday. And uh, we'll, we'll do the whole shitty We'll be doing predictions tomorrow. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.